Simple but satisfying, the old mining action. Something strangely addictive about just chewing up asteroids. <laughs> it's better when you got like a lot of really powerful mining lasers and you're just like I'm eating your way through them. So we were kind of not really able to handle ourselves in here, but stay alive and actually make some money, which we weren't doing in the other sectors. So that's a that's a distinct improvement. Ava Armstrong gains shield 2% tier 1. Oh, I, I like how you can take someone who's not that good to begin with and they'll actually uh, level up into getting a lot better. Ava's got shield, shield absorption, bonus space pilot. She's getting two skills now so far. Oh, clean! That was clean! Triton detected. What is Triton? He's got a lot of... <laughs> Look at all those repair drones! He's got so many repair drones. i got to shoot his repair drones down. Oh no, I'm overheating. Anonymous sports star Valifrom. Thank you very much for buying the game through my link. Enjoy. Enjoy your Star Valor action. Could pick up a mercenary, maybe. I think I can take this lot down. I need to just be soloing the big one, though. There goes another one. Out of my way, you. I'm going to take this one down. Work. <laughs> just ramming him. <laughs> These ones are like little vans. <laughs> little boxy things. Now you gain damage resistance while not owning a fleet. Plus one space pilot. Oh, nice. My solo killing leveled up my space pilot. Okay, we gotta, we gotta take down these drones. He doesn't really do much damage to me. This ship is fully invested into repair drone strategy. <laughs> Let's see how that works out for him. They've got, they've only got point defense lasers. Look at them. I mean, it's enough, it's enough point defense that it actually does some damage to me. But his uh, repair drones are looking a little dead now. Is his strategy to blind me with those point defense lasers? <laughs> it's working! It's working! <laughs> yeah! There we go! <laughs> Sick. Pirate hideout cleared. Let's get the loot from it. The combi is basically a space Winnebago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. So there's some Triton up here. Some mineral, I'm guessing. Oh, no, it's a ship! It's, uh... It must be the same class as my ship. Did we have one of these, or... I swear we looked at one of these earlier. I don't know if there's a station around here I can... I doubt I can fit it in my hold. It's probably too big. It's, it's about the same size as me. It's a yacht? It's the same as me then, isn't it? If there's a station here, I'll try push it. It's just on the right of that asteroid patch there. Oh, mining station. So there is a station here. Also, this is very close to the boss too. I just have to... I just have to get my aim right. And then give it a nice... Yeet towards the station. Okay, so we'll put a we'll put a marker on the center of the thing, and then we'll try and aim up exactly at it, which is a little hard with this thing moving like this. And we just go. Yeet. I think that's a little bit off to the left. <laughs> we'll have to uh, we'll have to go for a slight course course correction nudge maybe. That's pretty close. <laughs> Space curling. Yeah, I gotta get in front of it and sweep. <laughs> like this. Uh, we're gonna miss it. We're gonna miss it. That's okay. A slight course correction. Slight course correction. Oh god, no. Ah, stop. Stop, go the other way. <laughs> Oh god, no. It's getting damaged. <laughs> the pirate's gonna get me. Oh god, no. Yeah, go. God's <laughs> God speed Triton. God speed little Triton. It's gonna ram into the pirate. It's gonna ram into the pirate. It might work. It might just work. 
Try and receive stored in station. It worked! <laughs> it worked! <laughs> yes! Yay! <laughs> oh, wonderful. Maybe I should swap to this thing. Oh, uh, hmm. It's not a, it's not a huge improvement. I think we just sell it. There you go, it's 3.5k. Oh, wait, I should have swapped to it first. I don't think I've unlocked that one. Oops. I haven't now. Now, now I never will. Did it bounce off the pirate? I think it did. <laughs> yeah, I think it bounced off the pirate. The, pir the pirate helped me curl this ship into the station. That was great. We could swap into a Reaper. I could afford to swap into a Reaper. So that would be the same size ship, but substantially stronger. The Reaper has a special weapon mount. Use shift. Oh, special weapon. So it's a single, it's a big single mount or something. How do, what does the star mean? Both Reaper hardpoints fire multiple projectiles. Oh, wow. I don't remember it doing that. It seems like this has been redesigned. I can sell the boulder for 3.7k. I'll do that. I mean to take your crew out? Oh, <laughs> I didn't get my crew. I lost my crew gal. She was so cool. Oh no, that's unfortunate. I thought it would automatically take my crew out. Whoops. I, yeah, no, I didn't think about that. I sold my crew. <laughs> she was a person. I can't just sell her. What the? That's a bit rude. Well. Weapon heat generated, sensor power, weapon range plus 12. Got a decent aim. Speed booster cost reduction. Maybe I'll go this weapon range one. I'll hire them. So it takes your weapon and multiplies it by four. Is that how the Reaper works? Fires from four separate barrels. What the? That sounds so cool. All right, let's outfit our new shippy and try this thing out. On for, on for size. <laughs> That's so sick. Here's the cannons ready. <laughs> okay, the Reaper is very cool. Alright, we need to equip it with uh, equipment too. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> Let's go grab some pirates with the Reaper. Ow. Your cannons are pretty nasty. Oh, but so are mine. <laughs> Help me, station. This guy's really nasty though. Man, my point defense is so much more effective. Come here, you. This guy is the one who was giving me grief before, right? <laughs> I tried like many times and failed to take this guy out. But maybe we can do it now. The extra range upgrade from that pilot was really good. pilot was really good too. Get them while they're running. Oh, I've hated. Come on back, hello. <laughs> we. Ooh. Quick repair. Oh no! <laughs> Oops. Uh. <laughs> you got me. I got got. Oh, he boomed me. <laughs> I know who I'm training with next season, this guy. Yeah, we got the strategy here. Come back here, you. those missiles. Oh, I almost hit that civilian. <laughs> Leave me alone, little red skull. <laughs> you jack. Yeah, oh, mate. This doesn't involve you. Oh, that civilian just got murdered. That's unfortunate. Hostile warping detected. Oh, we've got more friends coming in. Uh-oh. We have, uh... Company. Oh my god. Uh, a cooling uh, 
cooling equipment might be really good for this ship because it's only got the one hard point, which means it's prone to overheating. That's the big downside here, a lot of heat generation. It means I can't run my point defenses when I overheat as well. Which leaves us a little bit at the mercy of missiles and drones, especially. That's a lot of missiles. See ya, buddy. Um, so that's uh, 15 weapon cooling, and I might be able to, I might be able to upgrade that as well if I make a uh, uh, upgrade kit. Heat sink upgrade. 16.5 cooling. Can I make the uh, better upgrade kit as well? Improved upgrade kit takes two refined metals. I don't think I can buy those, sadly. It appears you're getting attacked by a civilian. Oh, this is our chance. Look at that damage numbers propping up from the cannon shots. Ow! Those missiles hurt so much. Yes! There we go. That was two mission completes from that one. Um, blueprint heavy shield generator. Min miners reactor. Hmm. Reactor but customized by the PMC. I think that's a little better than the regular reactors, aren't they? Fusion reactors also a tech tier up. So those are some good gets right there. We just found some better reactors, which means potentially better space efficiency. The miners reactor. Let's have a look. So no, regular nuclear reactors are 10 and 5 energy storage. The miner reactor is 12 and 12 energy storage. That's substantially better. Wow. Sick. Well, that's way more effective. That'd be a good one to upgrade then. Hi. <laughs> You're right there, buddy. And the fusion reactor is a bit better. So nuclear is 10 and 5, and this is 13 and 5, so a little bit better. I feel like I could get rid of a nuclear reactor now and get another shield layer or something. The miners reactors scale better, so they're eventually better than ion reactors. Oh, well, ion's the next tier after the uh, fusion, right? Because normal fusion than ion. So that's pretty big. Uh, that's a pretty big deal then. Yeah, that uh, got a lot of an upgrade when I upgraded it. So that miners reactor is probably going to hang around for a long time, being really space efficient. Whoa, 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 whoa. Heavy mine. 179 damage. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. How do these work? I'm kind of curious to put it on the Reaper and see what the Reaper does. Like, will the Reaper fire, like, four mines? Because, uh, that could be really insane if so. I'm gonna have to have a look at that, I think. Uh, I don't need missile ammo for this to work. I don't think I've used mines before. <laughs> Oh, hmm, I guess that does work. <laughs> Interesting, we may have come up with a strategy here. <laughs> so if I just fly along and lay a little trail like that. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Hello, I require some pirates for testing purposes. For testing purposes. There's a pirate hideout here somewhere, down here. Hi, you, you're gonna... Go into those mines. Boom. <laughs> Can I ram them with the mines? <laughs> well, it does some damage. It's not the easiest necessarily to get things with. <laughs> But it does some serious damage, and I could make it like a little giga minefield and then draw them over. I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! <laughs> Someone just went down. I'll start a warp, so... I'll make a minefield and draw them onto it. <laughs> See ya, buddy! <laughs> Enjoy the minefield! I actually just get like stuck in them. That's so good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this can work. This can work. Especially because I can like pre set up a minefield and then get them stuck in it. Because it actually knocks them around. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, that's... There's nowhere for you to escape to. <laughs> I'm gonna put mines all the way around you. There's no way out, <laughs> Marauder. <laughs> There's no way out. <laughs> this is great. Imagine if you had like 10 of these things just popping off on a bigger ship. Come on, buddy. Out you come. <laughs> Guy counters me by not moving. Well, he has to move if he wants to come after me. He's pretty tanky though, isn't he? Please. Come over here, dude. Into the Giga field. <laughs> Look at him go. Man, he can soak up some mines though, can't he? Jeez. Hostile warping detected. At least I have a. I, I'm glad you can stock so many mines. I figured the game would like stop me from doing that. Combat genius! You hit it here! Look at that! The game knows. <laughs> the game knows. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm a combat genius. I'm a I'm a combat genius. Mm-hmm. True story. <laughs> so good. So good. Into the minefields with ye. <laughs> this is the big brain strategy. It, it really is. You have to like, you have to think. You have to, you have to guide the ships. You have to trick them into the minefields. You have to bring them in. You have to bait them. You gotta lay a cleverly placed minefield wall of mines. And if you do it right, you can trap them so that they just bounce around in the minefield. It's like that wasn't really very good. But what I want to do is like. Get him into there. Oh yeah, look at him ping pong around. <laughs> they just lose all control. <laughs> Boom! See ya, buddy. Game's been a little generous there. I'll give you generous. Defeat an elite Silver Star enemy that has a ship at least two sizes bigger and is at least two levels higher than you without assistance. There you go. Look at us. We defeated something you shouldn't have. 50 extra flight armor, 5% weapon damage, and 1 agility. That's really, That seems really good. Wow. That's a really good perk. Because uh, I want to, if I can, show uh, the Ziggy ship, the ship I designed. I don't know if I'll be able to defeat it now, because you have to defeat it. But uh, it'd be cool to show you at least. So I think I need to find a dark sector. So here's the criteria. Here's some, if you're not sure about how to locate the secret Ziggy ship and Ziggy, here's, a, here's some clues, I guess. Dark sector? And between level 15 and 25, I believe. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll lay a giga minefield and then draw Zig and draw the uh, Hephaestus onto uh, onto the giga minefield. Ooh, ouch! Got it. Something like that. <laughs> Perfect dramatic moment there. There's a cop, there's a military fleet over here. We could blow that up with mines. That could be fun. You'll be a heavier, gigantic target. Yeah, I'll need some cash to outfit it probably. <laughs> It'll be, it might be a little sluggish for a while. Come into the minefield, shipperoos. Transmitter. Must be a crafting piece. Out there. Ooh, they're a little scary. <laughs> I like how it can uh, throw them off your pursuit a little bit. Oh, oh god, this was a mistake. <laughs> Run! There's too many. There's too many. I'm getting some kills though. Boom. Yo, I'm getting kills. The mine strategy is very legit. <laughs> it is, uh, it's a little harder to deal with, like, lots of small ships, though. Unless you have a chance to, like, pre-place a minefield. 
You can't just grab something and sneaks up on you. Takes a bit of work. I'm going in for another one. I think I can do it. These big ones are taking some serious killing, but... Also, they shoot my mines too. Which is a bit unfortunate. No star in the sector? Oh, I see. So like this one. Pitch black, that's what we need. Yeah, I don't know if mines are going to be the choice for taking down Ziggy, but maybe I can cheese it by just laying a giga minefield. I, I say Ziggy, but I mean the Vistus specifically. Alright, so this is spoilers for secret mission if you uh, haven't done it before. I probably should get repairs first. I can at least save at the warp gate. Where's he going? <gasps> Warning, hostile warping detected. Oh shit, is that it? No, this isn't This isn't it. This is just these guys. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Oi! You're not who I'm here to fight! Boom! <laughs> Come onto my mines, please. The Exiled! Whoa! Your scanner suddenly detects a strong warping signal. The ship's model is size 5 cruiser, but it's not included in any database you have access to. From a quick scan, you discover it seems to be an artificial intelligence which calls itself the Exiled. And it has only one life sign on it. What the hell? Oh! The Exiled locks target on you and begins to open a fire. Defeat the Exiled. Ooh! Also, I have to defeat this little jerk too. Get out of my way, you jerk! Get out of my way! Eat mines! Distress signal! <laughs> There's a distress signal I need too. Wait, there's a distress signal all the way out here? I didn't know that could happen. Guess those can happen anyway. Someone else was trying to fight. <laughs> oh god, it got it got the cannon blast! Whee! <laughs> Oh god, no! Stupid, stupid ships. All right, let's try that again. So if you're wondering, you have to uh, go into a dark zone with, without that. Those are the ones that don't have suns, as I learned today. Pretty cool. Um, and then uh, you have to fly into the uh, dead zone off the map until uh, you get this pop up. And then this is the ship that I designed with Laos. Look how cool it is. It was designed to be a giga broadside with one big forward facing mega cannon. So it's got like a bunch of cannons on the sides. Uh, so, you, so you can like have like four cannons on each side. <laughs> there's, the, there's the volley and then there's the big cannon on the front which has huge explosion radius. So I need to like... Ooh, okay. Oh no, we've got war pins happening. I don't know how I'm going to get it to fly under mines, to be honest. It's going to be iffy. And now I'm getting shot up by this thing. He made this? We did, yes! I worked with Laos on it over the period of a couple months and we uh, put this thing together, as well as a uh, character I'm also in the game related to this quest. i got to blow up this little dude. I got explosion radius on that big cannon. The macro cannon's pretty big. <laughs> pretty big. Pretty big gunnin, pretty big gunnin. I gotta kill this little jerk so I can focus. A bit harder and hardcore with these guys chasing us. No! There we go, there's that guy gone. Let's try and get my shields back. Can we sell you? <laughs> yes, I guess you can sell me. <laughs> Keep trying to lay my minefield and then draw it down. Come on, a face just come down, buddy. Ow. I don't think it has any way to repair. Oh, it does have shields though, so we have to do enough damage to get through its shields and keep them down. I hear it hitting the mines now. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, so I feel like I might have better, better success with regular cannons, perhaps. <laughs> 
Oh, this thing's a jerk. <laughs> I got crack shot. I got crack shot by the <laughs> Faistus. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> come on. Oh, you shitter. All right, let me have a duel with Faistus, please. We can do this at up to level 25, I think. So probably uh, be wiser to get another ship upgrade, get some more upgrades, that sort of thing. But uh, nah, nah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this the old fashioned way. Jamming my head right against it. Having a cannon fight. Oh! <laughs> Ah, hostile warpins. I got two this time, even. Oh my god. Oh no, the Vulcan cannon is a problem. No, this is not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. Guys are spoiling my fight. Maybe they'll leave if I do this. <laughs> so station here. Wonder if I leave and come back, Ziggy will still be there. Hey, maybe this is the strategy. If I if I shake him like this, then maybe they'll lose track of me. Or maybe they'll just come after me anyway. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> oh, shit. Have a, bit of, do it, have a bit of an easier time of this when he's up the top of the screen like this. Good. Whoa, that's close. I'm clenching so hard right now. <laughs> I'm clenched. <laughs> yeah, the little cannons are actually not too bad. The enemy suddenly disengaged from combat and warps away, leaving you behind an escape pod. Defeat the exiled. Done. Quest complete. Ooh, escape pod! <laughs> Ziggy, danger, your gears. <laughs> Look at him! <laughs> <laughs> Oi, blimey, you saved me. Thanks, Moit. I thought I was going to be trapped in that ship for the rest of me days, eating dry rations and watching it warp from one dead zone to another, Moit. Oi. Oh, your bloody leg end. Trapped, who are you? What happened and why did you attack me? Oh, my name's Ziggy, mate, and I didn't attack you. I was part of the cr ship's crew, but it had no crew on it. Can you believe it? Anyway, a couple of months ago, I was trying to upgrade the ship's computer with an ancient relic, you see, as usual, and something happened. There was a huge energy discharge. The AI went crazy, mate. Blimey. <laughs> <laughs> It took control of the entire thing. It was insane. I passed out for a moment. When I woke up, I realized everyone was gone. They simply left me here, the bastards. Although they didn't take any food with them, which was weird. Anyway, I couldn't do anything to get the controls back and was afraid to launch myself on a capsule in the middle of nowhere, but you showed up and saved the day. 
Of course, the AI tried to kill you first, but that wasn't me, I swear. The AI, uh huh? Well, you're welcome, I guess. Yeah, the AI. Hephaestus is a pretty special ship. Anyway, it doesn't like ancient technology that much. Ironic, isn't it? <laughs> but I know where it's going. We just have to follow it. I think the failsafe actually worked when you were about to blow us to pieces, and now it's autopiloting itself back to our docking bay for a complete reboot. Great news, ain't it? I think I still remember the access codes. Anyway, whatever that AI was, I hope it'll be gone by the time we get there. Well, that it is if you don't mind if I join you, do ya? <laughs> Exclusive voice acting by me. <laughs> this is my regular voice that I'm using to voice act him, obviously. Not my fake streamer voice. We can go there and check if the ship's fine. And if it is, it's ours. Or yours. I owe you that much. Anyway, I suppose it's worth a shot then. Danger. Ziggy, danger, you giz. Oh my god, this person's gonna be my co-pilot now. Unassigned you. Ziggy Danger, ready? Expert Gunner, Acceptable Aim, Critical Damage Bonus, Advanced Pilot, Max Speed. When assigned as a Gunner, Co-Pilot, 25% chance of a 400% increased area of effect on explosive weapons. <laughs> Which is enough to kill yourself. <laughs> so good. <laughs> I think the first stats are randomly generated, I'm not sure, but the, uh, the purple stat is this unique stat. Does it count on mines? Probably does count on mines. It's about here, but up. There it is. Okay, that's not too far away. We can get that. Be fully aware you'll piss off every civilian station and ship with Ziggy slotted in. Ah, oh, isn't he great? <laughs> isn't he great? Hmm. Average right boss. Level 52? Big god. <laughs> Quickly get ready to warp. <laughs> Before something warps in to kill me. Ready, ready, go. Hey, friendly ship. Go start your playthrough off with the clumsy perks so the civi civvies forgive you. Oh, that, that's a thing. Increases the amount of damage you can do without them turning hostile on you. Oh, wait, I think I have that one. Okay, this zone's level 33, a bit more reasonable. You arrive at a pretty secure hangar in an empty part of the station. Ziggy fails to enter the code twice before it opens with a beep. <laughs> wow, Laos, come on. I didn't write any of this, by the way. Laos wrote all this. There, there was Hephaestus parked on the docking bay, just like Ziggy said. And it looks like it's been repaired as well, with no sign of anomalies or unusual readings. You think to yourself, deja vu. Like I told you, Moit. It's here with all cannons aligned and ready for more. I'll just remind myself not to mess with computers no more. You wonder what happened with the AI. And then decide it's best to get out of there before someone else gets interested. Yeah, let's just avoid that for now. Welcome to the team. Yay! <laughs> Here it is in the hangar. Look at this thing. Class 5 cruiser. Destroy a large weapon, size plus 4, damage 20%. Ooh, hello. You will often attract more powerful enemies because it's a unique ship. Um, you'll uh, attract the attention of powerful enemies that want to come after you. Like those guys that have been chasing me constantly. Cannon damage 20%. Oh, baby. Look at that. Mass 1,000. You now have a $400,000 boat? Well, it's worth 120k just if I were to sell it. Not that you would do that. Not that you'd do that. Show me the... Uh... <laughs> Here it is. I don't have any uh, anything to fly it with currently. I don't have any engines or anything. Here yeah, she is. Look at that. Look at that beast. Look at that beast. Here's the, uh, oh, so the weapons are, uh, oh, they, Laos did the weapons like the Reaper. Fires from eight separate barrels. Weapon damage minus 60, projectile speed plus 50. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And there's the, uh, Giga Cannon as well. So there's two 360 degree turret mounts, a rear defensive, you know, like 180. And then the, then the side ones. Not enough energy. <laughs> so that's a tiny, that's a little tiny laser on it. <laughs> so there's my mines. It seems to turn them into giga mines. I need to find some enemies so I can lure them onto my mines. I'm down to two credits. I'm at, I'm flat broke. Also, we can zoom out a lot more now. <laughs> Look how much we can zoom out. Oh, the big mines must be Ziggy's procs with 400% AOE. 
That's probably what that is. I was wondering, why is it dropping really gigantic mines out? Those are going to kill me, you watch. I'm going to die to my own mines exploding on me. I like to put, like, a gigantic, ridiculous laser or cannon or something in the front. Little tiny cannons in there is actually not that useful. I, I wonder if I can move them here. Can I move them to the tops? Oh, yeah, that's easier. We'll do that. They can be on auto-fire. <laughs> Hello, come onto my mines. <laughs> it did like no damage to it. Oh, this is level 37 zone. My weapons are like level 15 weapons equivalent. <laughs> that explosion though. Uh -oh. Yeah, I'm not going to do much damage to him. Oh God, I'm going to die. No, <laughs> leave me alone. Ah! You jerks. You jerks. I have to go back to fight on enemies. Well, not necessarily my own size anymore, but... Enemy is my own, uh, level. <laughs> Let's go over here. Go over here. Beat up on some enemies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got we got this gigantic ship, but uh, we, we went up three ship sizes from two to five. Our ship was about... Compared to this, it was like this big. My mouse movement there. <laughs> so our weapons are, uh... What class is that? Dreadnought, I think it's called. Uh, cruiser, actually. Cruiser. That's why this cruiser. Large size 4 plus weapons, 20%. So you want to get, like, size 4 plus weapons. That's a big ship. That's a bigger ship than me. <laughs> that is a huge ship. I don't think I'm going to be able to take that thing out. Help! Help, team! Yeah, get it, mines! <laughs> Hello, there's mines over here. Who even cares about asteroids when you're this big? <laughs> you basically stop caring about asteroids. I don't know if they're going to come down this far out of my mines. Yes, fly into the mines. I dare you. I dare you. Just push the asteroids out of the way. <laughs> I just push them out of the way. Yes, fly into those asteroids. Those mines even. Get them. Get them. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> Not exactly a mine laying vessel, hey, okay, but it'd be cool to have like bigger mines than what we have on both sides and then just drop out 16 mines per click. Actually, if you, depending on how you did it, it would be even more. And just drop mines on both sides of you while you're retreating. Well, you could, I never thought about playing this as a mine laying vessel, but here you go. Can be done. I think better suited to be a missile boat or cannons potentially if you want to have if you want to be real cool. Explosive cannons are where it's at. Yeah, a huge increase in ship classes doesn't automatically make you more powerful. I mean, it makes you a lot tankier for sure, but uh, you're going to be much slower until you get equipment that's appropriate for it. And yeah, you're not you, you're not your weapons don't automatically become a lot stronger. They do become longer range, and you do get more heat capacity, so you can fire them more. And you can equip better generators and stuff, but it starts to become all part of a puzzle that has to suck it together. Where you know to really take advantage of a big ship, you need the you need cash and equipment to uh, to equip it with, to outfit it with. Cannons on one side, side missiles on the other. Yeah, then you can always be bringing both sides to bear. I like the sounds of that for sure. And there's a different flying mode, which is I find a bit better for big ships like this, where you do keyboard movement instead. Then you can focus on like controlling a gyro turret or something like that. I think else had a video of the ship where he played it like that. Awesome. Yeah, you got a leak. I've actually seen the Hephaestus video. I uh, I'd love to I'd love to check it out. Speaking of bigger ships, ah, oh, it's a station. No, oh, there's a bigger ship there. Oh, it's gonna die though. The station blew it up. Pirates are trying to attack the station. You've got the video of the Hephaestus. Let me show you a better, a better equipped Hephaestus here, ready? Because obviously mine has terrible equipment. <laughs> this is Laos playing one. I don't know. Oh yeah, this is with the, with the new cannon designs too. Eight barrel turrets. Yeah. Cannon, cannons on one side, missiles on the other. Look at those missiles. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. <laughs> Damn, that's satisfying. I love the way they. <laughs> Curve around like that. Sick. Okay. 
do 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 You could put Ziggy in the front cannon slot and put a big missile in there and just let Ziggy have fun with it with his giga explosions. As long as you're okay with taking some self-explosion damage on occasion. Reminds me of SC2 Battle Cruiser. The inspiration was uh, similar because SC2 is inspired by it. Warhammer well, 40k's big ships were there. Ridiculous broadside cannons and them fighting like they're old naval boats. Unleash the macro batteries. <laughs> so I tried I tried to make a very Warhammer 40k ship. <laughs> yeah, it's so cool. <laughs> Railguns are also kind of awesome. I had a Children of Terror battleship with a charging railgun and a spinal mount. Can one-shot space stations with it? Woo! -hoo -hoo. That's pretty spicy. That's how you know you won the game when you get to that point. Then you've won. Yeah, chat, I'd love to play some more today, but it's almost 7 p.m. and I can go have some dinner. It's been an absolute pleasure playing some Star Valor with you. Very cool stuff. <laughs> See ya, folks. Bye. I mean, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.